So it's a historical day for solo mining Bitcoin today as this is the first ever solo blocked mined by a future bit. So we're going to go into kind of what this looks like, how it compares to like the bit axe and stuff like that. And then more why it's a more historical day than when we saw a bit axe actually hit a block. So we know over the past couple of months there has been I think maybe two or three bit axe solo miners that have hit blocks but there are also a bunch of other solo miners out there that you can buy in terms of like the Avalon Nano and, and other ones like the Nerd Axe and stuff but this one is a future bit so if you don't know what a future bit is it's one of these miners which is also a node included so you can buy it for around $375 if we scroll down you can see one node one miner and one person so you basically have a node running 24-7 and a miner running 24-7 connecting to that node and then it can go into the node wallet that you're actually running as well. So it's all encapsulated in one whereas normally with Bitaxes or other solo miners you would add them to a pool and basically use their node to solo mine and they collect a little bit of a fee if you do hit a Bitcoin block. So you can see here, this is just mainly for the node, I believe. This is all of the specs. So six cores, four gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte. That's kind of just for the ledger, I believe. And then the other things are just to run the actual node. And then it acts as a wallet as well, if you want to use it there. But you could also direct it to a different wallet, potentially. Then it comes down to the miner. So Bitaxes only have one chip. I believe that the Bitaxe Hex has six. So that could actually do three terahash, I believe. But this one looks like 44 ASIC cores. So I'm believing that these are pretty old ASIC chips, if I'm not mistaken, because you can do maybe one terahash on an S21 Pro Plus. So you don't need three of those chips. So these must be really old ones, like from an S9 or something like that. If we look here, you can see with a hash rate of three terahash and less than 200 watts. So it might be slightly underclocked. It doesn't actually say what chips they're using within the future bit Apollo. So we can't actually know which ones they are, but I'm assuming that they're old. So you're looking around three terahash for that. And after doing the calculations, it probably takes around 3000 years to hit a block on average, if you're mining 24 seven every day. But you can just see here how it kind of works, kind of like a power supply. And then you have the hash board and the node is separate, I believe. And then it just says manufactured in the USA. So when we're looking at it, it actually hit a block. Let's actually go to the block here. So this was block 867760. You can see the hash here, timestamp. So this was hit today uh, around six hours ago. And then the size, weight, health, so 99.88. Then the fees, the medium fees, whatever. But the main thing is obviously the subsidy and that is what this miner actually mined which is 3.161 bitcoin which is equal to around two hundred and sixteen thousand dollars this is all mined off of one miner and one node as well so this is why it's kind of historical because we actually haven't seen any of these smaller miners do a block solo to their own node with the bit axes or the nerd axes that have hit blocks i believe that they were put to a pool there has also been other smaller miners that have hit solo blocks that were done through a pool as well. And that is obviously a massive feat, but doing it on your own, I don't think that anyone's kind of done it in the past like at least 10 years since there was GPU mining on Bitcoin. So it's been quite a while since somebody has mined to their own node solo and hit their own block. Now, there might be also people with a lot more hash rate that have solo mined to their own node, but we're more talking about these solo lucky miners that we are buying like the bit axe nerd axe and even the future bit that we see here so there could be other entities out there that have a lot of hash rate that are so low mining to their own node it's just this is the first since gpu mining that we've seen it at such a low hash rate hit a solo block now the one thing when you click on here so you can actually scroll up and it says mine by future bit apollo so this was what basically the node was projecting out as the name so you have F2 pool, Binance pool via BTC. As you can see, all of them are from pools. And this is the only one in recent time, at least, that has came from the own node. One thing that I do want to mention is that 
The hash rate averaged 24 hours. I don't know if this has any implications because you can't actually see how much hash rate was going through that. But it does say 4.7 exa hash, which is substantially more than what you see advertised as 3 tera hash. But let's just click into another block and we can see actually if it displays anything like that. So you can see if you go on via BTC, you can see the actual average hash rate here. So it is kind of tracked by something, I believe, but this one doesn't have enough data to actually show us how much actual hash rate was on average 24 hours. Maybe it's just calculated by, you know, how much it would take to actually mine a full block, something like that. I don't know if they have real world data into this actual solo miner. I wouldn't think that they would either. But as I said, this did come from Futurebit, and I hadn't heard of them previously. I've only heard of Bitaxes and Nerdaxes, the ones that we're kind of covering on the channel, and we have seen them hit blocks, so we know that it's possible. It's obviously possible to set up your own node and mine to it. It's just kind of, we would see it on the mempool if a node from somewhere else apart from a mining pool actually hit a block with this amount of hash rate as well. As it says in the comments, uh, should say the first mined and constructed because obviously mined from a solo miner and constructed on the own node. And then it goes down to say we've had a found over a few years, but this is the first independent solo block found by one of our full node devices locally using the built-in node. So there obviously has been earlier ones that have hit blocks to their own solo node, but this is a full compact node and miner being sold out as i said the price is very very cheap at 375 dollars so in my opinion the roi time you are kind of playing the lottery with these you couldn't really calculate that out financially to make your money back on these would i recommend buying them not personally because you can get a bit axe and you can just go to a pool and use their node but this kind of further decentralizes the bitcoin mining i guess but it doesn't decentralize it as much as people think just because it's a rarity to see on the network. You know, we have one every couple of years or maybe one a year. There was one a little bit back that was for, I believe, an S9 that actually hit one. But that's a substantially more hash rate than what we're seeing on here. So this one's three tera hash and the S9 is probably, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 tera hash, something like that, depending on the model. As it says there, also talk about marketing. So this is going to drive a lot of revenue or a lot of people to the Futurebit website to see and look at this. And hopefully Futurebit makes some money off of this and they start to further decentralize Bitcoin mining through that. Also, it does decentralize it a lot more by running the node separately. So I personally wouldn't recommend buying one. But if you're really about the decentralization of the network, running nodes, doing it all by yourself, then this is actually a very good price. And I assume you can also put other machines through it. So if you bought one of these, you could direct your bit axe towards the node that you're running and that would actually add more hash rate up to it. So this was just a quick video to let you guys know. I'm not sponsored by Futurebit or anything. I just thought it was a kind of historical moment to document on the Bitcoin network. So make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.